Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle. For those of you who don't know me, hi, welcome. I'm so glad you stopped by today. Today we are doing another installment of my palette collection. Today we are going to talk about my magnetic palettes and the single shadows I have in them. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with that. I am super excited. Again, these videos are a huge inspiration from Amy from Dolly Mama Beauty. I will have her link down below. I do hope that you guys go and check her out. So we're gonna go ahead and just get started. The first one I have here, this is Owl One. Um, I got this specific palette from Amazon, I believe, and I um, destroyed the mirror. So there's that fun fact. But these are the shadows that I actually have in here. So I'm gonna kind of separate some things so we can kind of talk about. These are Enchanted Luster Cosmetics. This is one of my favorite indie brands. It is an Australian brand. I absolutely love how buttery these shadows are. I will also, just a side note, have my indie brand kind of reviews linked up in the cards as well as any other videos I've done with indie brands specifically, just so you guys can get kind of an idea of how I feel about these brands and where you can get them. Then these here are duo chromes from Cadaver Cosmetics. I love Cadaver Cosmetics. Like they have some very unique items and they are a favorite of mine. I especially love these duo chromes. I will often use them as an inner corner highlight, an actual highlight, a brow bone highlight, as well as an eyeshadow. They, they, they multi-purpose very well. And then over here I have all of the single shadows I have from ColourPop. I have destroyed a couple of these with my fingers. Um, I try very hard not to, but I do enjoy a lot of these as well. So that is what is in this specific palette. On to the next one. This is a palette I actually got off of Etsy and it says Prima on it. In here are the shades that I have from Sparrow Cosmetics. These are the Birthstone Collection, as well as just a couple of other shades that I picked up um, along the way. I want to play with these so much more. I need to make myself reach for them. So don't be surprised if these end up in my monthly makeup drawer because they're gorgeous and they need to be played with. Again, this will be in that indie brand playlist if you want to hear more about this specific brand. Next up, I have two palettes from Dear Katie Brown Makeup or DKB Glitter. I love DKB Glitter. If you guys don't know that, then I, where have you been on my channel? Like, hi, you must be new. <laughs> DKB Glitter is amazing. I mean, just look at how pretty all of those shades are. They just sparkle and just make me oh so happy. Oh, so can you guys tell which ones I love? There's this one and then like this one's almost hit pan on it. Oh, oh and then there's this guy here. Glitter! I live for glitter. If you don't know that, then I don't know what we're doing. I'm doing something wrong. So these are other ones. This big one here, Poseidon, is one of my absolute favorites. But look at it just sparkles. If, if you're not happy with sparkles, then I don't know what you're doing. I'm going to be 30 this year, and glitter is like my best friend. My best friend. If you're wondering why I'm leaning down, I have like a box that I'm setting stuff in. That way I'm not just throwing it on the ground. Then we have this guy here. This is a palette that I also got off of Amazon. I really like it. There's everything in here. So on the bottom here are Ammo Cosmetics. Then we have two highlighters from Sparrow Cosmetics. We have all of these shades right here are from Scenic City Cosmetics. Then I have these one, two, three, four here are from Shop Miss A. These two are by Looks to Kill Cosmetics. And then right here are the Shade Beauty. And a lot of these I have reviewed. I have not reviewed Ammo Cosmetics, and I've had Ammo Cosmetics in my collection for over six months now. That video will be coming. I'm sorry it's been so late. I think I've been saying I'm going to make this video for a while, and I just have not. So, there's that. The final magnetic palette I have is from Coastal Scents. 
I got a bunch of singles. If you've watched my Coastal Scents video, I will have that linked up in the cards also. In case you're wondering, it's swatches and a first impressions. I am going to do a full review on all of these shadows once I get some opportunity to play with them a little bit more. Well, these are all of the magnetic palettes I have. These are all of the kind of single shadows as far as ones that can go in a magnetic palette that I own. And a lot of them are favorite indie brands. Again, I will have that linked up in the cards uh, in case you want to watch any of those reviews. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I do hope that you did enjoy it. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Comment down below if you've tried indie, any of these indie brands or if you have any indie brands you think I should try because I'm going to try and bring the indie brand vibe back to my channel. Well, thank you guys again and bye!